Vectors in three dimensions. We will first focus on introduction to vectors. You will find this on page 221 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Introduction to vectors. In ordinary level mathematics, we study two dimensional vectors. In this chapter, you will be reminded about vectors in two dimensional space before being introduced to vectors in three dimensional space. Recall that a vector is a quantity which has magnitude, that means size, and direction. The length of the line shows its magnitude and the arrowhead shows the direction. Therefore, vectors are only about magnitude and direction. The position is irrelevant. The arrow from L to M is the same length and has been drawn in the same direction as the arrow from A to B. So meaning, in terms of vectors, this A to B movement is exactly the same as the movement from L to M. The vectors are the same. This means that point A and L have been displaced or translated by the same vector to B and M respectively. The arrow AB and the arrow LM represent the same displacement of vectors. They are equal. Okay, let's first look at standard notation of vectors. Move it up a little bit. Notation using upper case. A displacement from A to B is written as the vector. Okay, so it's the capital letter A, B with an arrow on top. And where you start, you start from A and you move to um, B. In the notation A, B, the order of the letters is important. It indicates that A is the uh, initial or starting point and B is the terminal or ending point. The vector B, A is different from the vector AB. Okay, so very important the order where you write the capital letters. Their magnitudes are equal, but they are in opposite directions. So AB is actually equal to negative BA. Okay, so that negative changed the order around. In the diagram above, AB is equal to LM. That vectors are equal. So even though the lines and the arrows are drawn on different parts of the diagram, the displacement shown by each is the same. Okay. Then we go to the next. Notation using lowercase. Sometimes lowercase letters are used for vectors. In text, it can be shown in bold type. For example, A, they make it bold, or B. In written work with a pen or pencil, Vectors are shown as you underline the A and underline the B, so underline the letter. The vectors A and B have the same direction, but not the same length. So vector A and B are parallel, but not equal. In fact, A is half the length of B, therefore B equals 2A. Vector C is three quarters of the length of vector B but in the opposite direction. Therefore, C is negative, so to, to change the order, three quarters of B. A number usually used to scale a vector is called a scalar. So in 2A, the vector A is being multiplied by the scalar 2, so we call the number the scalar. Okay, so let's look at this. Locate points in two or three dimensions. This is just revision of ordinary. So locate points in two dimensions. We use X and Y coordinates to give the position of a point in two dimensions. For example, in the diagram, on the right, the point K is at 3 and 2. Okay, that's the point. Now look, locate points in three dimensions. So then I just work in X and Y. So imagine the two-dimensional grid seen above drawn on a sheet of, of card. Now the figure on the right shows the card laying horizontal. So it's like you take that and you put it horizontal with the y-axis going away from you. So it's going to the back. To describe a position above or below a card, we use a third measurement 
the height. So we bring in an extra one. This is shown by the z color, x, y, z. The free axes are all right angles to each other. So they make a 90 degree angle there. Please. Okay. These are called the rectangular Cartesian axis. In a three dimensional system of coordinates, a point P is located using three coordinates, x, y, and z. P is a point, point four units directly above K. Okay, so it was X and it was Y, but now it's also above. So it will be the 3 and the 2, the X and the Y, but also how many units up? For, um, 4, that's why it's there 4. So in 3 dimensions, we can write the point K as, okay, remember K is on the ground, so it's not up, it's on the level. So that's why it's 3, 2, 0. But P is 4 up, so that's why it's 3, 2, 4. Note, we always write the coordinates in the... So you first write the X, like this. Then you write the Y to the back and front. And then you write the Z, up or down. Okay. Axis may be rotated as shown. So sometimes, sometimes it, it happens that they rotate it a little bit. But most of the time, this is the familiar form that you will work with. Okay, let's look at an example. The diagram shows a cuboid with sides of length 5, 2, 3 units. Write down the coordinates of each vertex of the cuboid. Okay. So, basically they want you to... So, it's 5 and it's 3. Okay, and 2. 2 to the back and 3. So, this is X, this is Y, and this is Z. Okay, but start with Z. Oh, so it's 0, 0. Okay. Then where is A? A. I didn't move there. It just moved up, so it's 0, 0, 3. Then B. B didn't move there, so 0, but it moved 2 back and 3 up, so that's why it's 2, 3. C. Where is C? C. Okay. Start with your X. It moved 5, can you see? Then it moved 2 to the back, and then it moved 3 up, and that's why it's the coordinate. Then look at D. Where is D? Okay. D is the 5, nothing to the back, so 0, and then 3 up. And then E, where is E? This is just the 5 and the rest is just 0, 0. Then F, where is F? Um, there. So this is 5, this is 2, and it didn't move up or down, so 0. And then G, where is G? There. So it's 0, okay? Then to the back 2, nothing up, so 0. So it's not so. So just find first this direction, left or right, then back or front. And then up or down. Okay. Let's see if you can do it. I want you just to do number A. Again, you can continue as soon as you stop the video. And you can continue as soon as you are finished. Okay. Let's start with number A. Okay. I think we will start with O. There is O. I'm going to mark it. Oh, so that one is very easy. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. Then we will go to P. There is P. So P will be three. Can you see? But nothing left um, back or front. Nothing up. So oh, sorry, my pen. So three, zero, zero. Okay. And then I will go to my next one, J. Okay. Now, J is 0. It didn't move here. It didn't move back and down, uh, um, back or front, but it moved up to J. Okay, now sub G, I believe. So, G, it moved 3. Can you see? Nothing to the back or front, so 0, but up or down, 2. Okay, so K... Okay. I think we can write it here. Maybe I want to just use another color now. K. Okay. okay, there is K. So nothing, so it's zero. Then to the back, do you see that seven units? And then up to K. Okay, which is the next one? L. There is L. Okay, so let's just look at L. It, it moved, can you see? So it moved that three. Okay, and then it moved 
to the back seven and it moved up two. Now, and then, uh, what was it then? Uh, N, let's just do N. Okay, now nothing, left or right, to the back seven and up again, nothing. N, okay, what will I do now? M. Okay, it moved. Can you see the three? Left or right, or to, or to the right. And then it moved to the back seven. And then nothing up or down. It's zero. And that's how you do it. Okay, very important. As soon as we come to examples, we will go on work on this.